Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the editorial, Hindu editorial, which we started uh, this Monday and today is Wednesday. So the third episode, okay, July, July 5, 2023, Wednesday and everyday editorial will come. Editorial is like uh, two pages, which I'll show you again uh, how it looks like. Please uh, see to it that you are watching all the episodes because uh, see this is the editorial, how it looks like. Editorial will have two pages, the editorial and opinion page and uh, Monday to Friday it will come like this. On Saturday instead of opinion it will be a ground zero page and that is not useful for you in your exam. But editorial and opinion is very important Monday to Friday and Sunday you don't have to worry there is no editorial itself. Sunday you can read the remaining pages. Okay and this video series is not for the remaining pages it's only the editorial. The remaining pages related current affair we cover in our current affair test series or maybe we put a lot of questions in our plums episode which comes at 9 pm in that you will get a lot of questions okay so here now we will first tell you what are the important articles because this i think is missing in most of the youtube channels which is already doing editorials for you they're doing excellent job they're teaching you the content but they are skipping certain articles they are not teaching you like or they are not assuring you that they are covering the entire editorial pages okay i have noticed that they just take one or two easy articles and then uh, you blindly believe them like one day, two day you will follow. After that you will feel like, okay, this person is teaching nicely. You blindly follow them every day. Okay. Without knowing that they are skipping two, two pages or two, two articles. Okay. So here, the first one, you know, GST, GST, which came in July 1, 2017. So six years completion happened. Okay. So based on that uh, a problem, they have told, okay, what is lacking in GST? It's an incomplete reform. That's what they are telling this author. So that we will discuss. Then the next one, if you see the next article, which is little bigger article that is about the physical health of states. So this again, I found lot of uh, data type thing so that we will not be discussing okay so i am telling the reason why each thing is not being discussed so physical health of states state wise comparison data these things and all end of the year when economic survey comes and all these things that time you will get the proper numbers and also this uh, you know issues between states and these things so charts graphs which they give every day in paper you cannot follow even if you follow you will not remember them so that is not required for the uh, discussion okay it's a macro economics kind of uh, article then we have this one gs1 gs3 if you see that article which is there on the top in opinion page and the bottom both are actually same okay bottom is actually only they are giving the graphs and charts of it the issue is actually the congress blunder scheme which they have introduced in karnataka not introduced actually they are not being able to introduce they did a lot of poll promises if you remember and they won the election also in karnataka but it was a total blunder without having the fund or resources or means to implement them they have announced lot of freebies and that is now backfiring at them itself so that is the thing this article uh, explains okay but there are let us certain schemes and all usually politics we don't discuss but here there are a lot of schemes and why the funding is problem why the uh, rice or whatever they promise is not available such things we'll discuss in that article it's a gs3 related article in gs1 also when it comes to food security malnutrition that kind of things it may uh, be uh, used okay so this one if you see local news kirlas bjp party not growing there and they have concerns people not accepting bjp that kind of politics okay that is not at all required for your exam then we have this uh, bio antibiotics and antibiotic resistance okay so that is a little important it's a story about some uh, something which india has done now so that we'll discuss in detail and then we have this uh, repeated article of twitter the monday when we started this i taught you an article of twitter twitter is fighting with indian judiciary indian government indian government is putting fines on them indian judiciary is putting fines on them so that a uh, kind of uh, a follow up on that okay there's nothing much but just one slide i'll show you what happened that's what i'm telling when you daily read articles this is what happens okay you start understanding easier okay you know the base okay suddenly when something today article comes like manipur is burning or france is burning you will not understand what is the backstory but daily if you have been reading okay in the first day second day third day fourth day like that because these things will keep coming in news finally by the time of your exam you will be excellent in your concept clarity in terms of current affair and uh, things happening around you okay so that's why reading newspaper or learning current affair daily is essential okay in our timetable test series also which i gave to the students every day you have to spend one hour one and a half hour on your newspaper that is mandatory okay it can be reading the newspaper it can be following editorials like this reading my current affair magazine i make sure that all the vice students have excellent current affair knowledge of at least two years of uh, uh, two years prior to the prelims okay you are giving 2024 means from 22 to 24 the two years current affair will be inclusive in the package which you are enrolling okay the test series one and like this editorial free of cost will come in the channel also so now this one if you see gs1 gs3 again that i told that karnataka's charts they have told so some details are there about rice how or where the government is actually now diverting the rice that things we'll uh, discuss okay so in detail i have told you and these are the things if you are new first time you are seeing this uh, editorial episode meaning you didn't see yesterday and day before yesterday these are certain doubts which you will have even after watching this, should I read the newspaper? Should I watch some other channel's editorial? Uh, will we give you some notes or Hindu or any subscription of Hindu? Many things are no. We won't give all that. So that answers. Okay, please read this. You will get all the answers. Okay, instead of asking. Because I know many people have that 
tendency so what should i do should i make notes should i subscribe that will you give subscription will you give these things and all i have answered here i don't want to waste time on that please read it okay without reading don't proceed then test series as i told 2024 is open with discounts and installments one year day by day hour by hour what to study self study program it is because many people want to do self study only they don't want to go coaching they just want a guidance of what to read today what to read tomorrow so that complete one year 365 day timetable is there you can enroll to that you can whatsapp me the whatsapp number is given in that whatsapp number if you message me i will tell you how to enroll and what you will get okay and then 2025 students don't enroll to this. I'll give you a two-year study timetable, meaning around 740 days of uh, timetable studies will be there. That again, I'm making mostly with by next Monday, I will publish it. Okay, I'll come like this live and I'll publish it. And then uh, about the 2026-27 and all, you are very, very early now. Okay, now you don't have to start preparing tests and all these things. You have to uh, read the newspapers maybe, observe and then uh, NCRTs you can just brush up. You can learn about the exam. So about the exam, who will teach you? No institute teaches you, Vaishayas teaches you. Okay, we will give you 30 foundation video free complete free come and whatsapp me i am 26 aspirant i am 27 aspirant even 24 25 you people also has to watch it but they because they are already with me in my numbers i have already given them but others who are new to this channel come and ask me i'll give you that please sincerely watch it don't have that assumption that you know everything okay this foundation will change your life so come and ask for it and i'll give you and a lot of free lectures are there in both the vaish ias and vaish courses channel which you see these are the foundation playlist but come and ask me i'll give you the proper link of each video also okay then the first article twitter versus judiciary so twitter i told you we have uh, again if there is any problem in the audio or video you can tell in comment section okay the video the presentation will run smooth but uh, my portion where you see me like my hands are moving this and all may get stuck okay there is a wi-fi technical issue in my location now uh, within one week i'm sure i'll be in another location that time it will be much more clear okay so please bear with that uh, my part getting stuck okay my movements and all this thing presentation will be running smooth okay so focus on the content so twitter versus judiciary twitter actually uh, what happened is, uh, you know, many people tweet whatever they like and they tell against the government, maybe something which is hurting our thing or maybe they uh, incite uh, any others to go and uh, burn something or they provoke. Okay, so this post and tweet when it comes, our Indian government usually takes it down. You know that. Okay, so we takes it down. Maybe we block the entire account or maybe we shut down the internet. Many things the government do based on sovereignty, integrity, security. Many, many things are there. This is all I discussed on Monday. Please watch that article. Okay, so like that we do. So now that is what happened. Now Twitter is coming and giving case that uh, you people have uh, blocked the accounts of many of our users because they posted something. So that is loss for us. Okay, you take down the tweet, that is one thing, one tweet will go away. But when you block someone from tweeting anymore, that's a complete big loss for them because future that many tweets won't come, right? So that they are giving case against the, uh, this thing, and 50 lakh rupee fine or something was put on Twitter. Twitter went and again, Karnataka High Court, they gave case. Karnataka also then supported the government and again, uh, put a, even more fine, I think. So Twitter is now completely worried. So they are telling article 19 you have, you have freedom of expression, you have many things like that, then how can you stop us from talking? We will talk whatever you want. Okay. So that is what the fight is going on. So not now when Elon Musk took over Twitter, before that itself when that CEO was there, from that time fight is going on. Okay. So now if you see this free expression thing, so that that is the article 19.2 of the constitution, these are all uh, the court uh, uh, told and uh, they even expected that uh, Twitter thought like there will be some judicial intervention, some review and they will. Uh, support them and uh, allow them okay so that is what they expected uh, this account level suspension account level blocking is not acceptable as per them they're telling you block the tweets or take down tweets if it is not following your uh, criteria or your uh, sovereignty and all these things this is what they told and then if you see uh, section 69 of the it act that is what information technology act in india that is what which governs all these things that allows the government to take down any post or block any content if it is against the those clauses eight nine clauses are there that i taught you monday please go and watch it. it's a repeat article okay so now what happened is uh, the high court again replied back that see the first line the foreign entity such as twitter could not invoke the constitutional guarantee of free speech okay meaning that is for citizens of india here or the foreign citizens also but a foreign company cannot come and talk behalf of our indian citizens if they have problem if indian people have problem that their account is blocked if there is a valid reason they can put an rti they can come and give case we will take care you twitter company don't come and dictate us that how we do our sovereignty control okay our man our integrity control and all that you people don't tell that is what the high court replied so this is the only thing which came that's why today is a small side article that date was a big full article okay so this is told and if you see that uh, section 69 that time when it came many people that time also gave case royal single case that time also supreme court upheld that indian government has the right to take down content which is against our thing or against uh, like provoking someone or any any wrong thing which is happening for india we have every right to take down that okay so here if you see last line a definite verdict 
from the Supreme Court may be needed to clarify both the rights and obligations of larger media company. Okay, like because court told that your companies we cannot take care of, like company cannot, we cannot give constitutional rights and all. So the Supreme Court has to intervene and tell something that is what the final line by the Twitter person. Okay, or the author, author who is supporting Twitter as of now. So here now second article. Okay, if you see GST and incomplete reform. Okay, incomplete reform they are telling. So GST, what is GST first? For that you have to goods and services tax. Okay, goods and services tax and they as a axiom they use like good and simple tax. Okay, government promote it like that, good and simple tax. So first you have to know taxation also one problem in our country in India is that children are not taught about uh, taxation, uh, salary, deductions, interest rates or if you see uh, uh, following rules on the road, basic things which a person need to live in this life, our Indian education system is not teaching. Okay, it's a very, very pathetic situation actually, but hopefully with the new national education uh, policy 2020, which is getting implemented, many things will come. You see textbooks getting reformed, chapters getting deleted, added and all. Hopefully people will start learning life also. Okay, this by hearting, this trigonometry, sin theta, cos theta, all these things which you'd never use in your life, this we all have by hearted. Okay, in 11th, 12th, you study integrated differentiation. Many things you study in maths and not maths itself, you don't use unless you are going into banking or IIT, JE, some one paper. Okay, you don't need this. So people actually after 8th standard or 9th standard till then you make them by heart or whatever history, geography, polity. After that, you should have a career split kind of classes. That is what national education policy is going to do. Okay, instead of 10 plus 2 system, they're going to make it 5 plus 3 plus 2 or something. So after a certain age, there'll be vocational kind of learning. You will decide that, okay, I'm going into engineering background. I will go into UPSC. I will go into this thing. Based on that, you will learn only what is needed for you. This unwanted maths learning till your life end is not required. Okay, till your 12th standard, you're studying unwanted things, maybe languages, maybe mathematics, maybe philosophy. Every Everyone need not study everything. Okay. So that is why our people are all educated. Okay. But they are not skilled. Now, same like that. As I said, okay. So I'm coming back to the point. Taxation here. Taxation is something which everybody should know. And there is direct tax. There is indirect tax. So direct tax is something which, why is it called direct? Okay. In interview on your face, they'll ask you, what, why is direct called tax called direct? Why is indirect tax called indirect? So direct means you are directly paying it to the government. Meaning you have a salary, you are in IT company, your salary will come after the deduction. Okay, you have a monthly salary of 40,000 or something, you won't get 40. Okay, you will get less than that only after the tax, everything is cut. So that is the direct tax. Indirect tax is like you don't pay to the government, there is someone in the middle. Okay, meaning in the shop you buy anything, a small, maybe a laptop or a phone or a soap or anything you buy. Okay, right from a small uh, matchstick you buy to the biggest airplane you buy, there is a tax which you pay to that shopkeeper or that person and they will then uh, file it to the center. Okay. So this is the process of indirect tax. You are not directly giving. Now our problem in our country was direct tax was running fine. Okay. But indirect tax, we had unlimited number of tax, which is not uniform also. Meaning we have already 100 taxes are there and in every state, it's a different thing also. Okay. There is a VAT, there is a state sales tax, there is this excise customs, additional customs, basic duty, that duty, like there are many, many things were there. Okay. So what this government did, okay, this yes is not like now these people invented or something. It is there in other countries also. Uh, when BJP was in opposition from that time, discussions are going on. Okay. Everything almost other, uh, this uh, GST, everything was there since those days, but nobody implements it because it's very difficult to implement anything in our country okay because of the geographical size also because of the population also it's very very difficult to implement something in our country okay policies were on paper most of the things so now these people have implemented at least that is one good thing or change which came now they are implementing now how long it will implement how how many people will get it that is another thing okay but at least they are implementing launching it so this one was launched gst was launched to put all those indirect taxes into one bracket okay so they removed many things okay i think excise related something duties many and sales vat everything many thing gone now there is one thing called gst where central gst is there state gst is there and when there is a transfer from one state to another there will be this uh, I, igs intermediate also will be there so intermediate three type of gsts are there and that too doesn't mean like uh, every product will have one tax okay because as i told if you buy a math stick which poor people buy for that you cannot put 25 percent tax and one who buy a rolls royce car he also put 25 percent tax that's not right so based on the luxury of items okay usage and uh, luxury of items the tax will change into different brackets like zero percent there are many things which are zero percent tax okay then there is five percent tax like you go to a hotel restaurant and eat food i think it's five percent tax now 2.5 percent to the cgst center 2.5 to the uh, state so like that then zero five 
12, 18 and 28. Okay. And on top of that, one more is there. Luxury kind of tax is there. 28 uh, percent and then cess and surcharge kind of thing is there. Meaning you buy the biggest thing, uh, as I told, uh, own uh, private something, uh, uh, Rolls Royce car or a uh, island or something you buy, which is not like bought by everyone. There'll be huge thing, uh, huge tax uh, levied. Okay. So that now, it's also getting reformed also many like you see in news like uh, the recent update was all the electronic components the tax now i think from 18 they reduced to 12 or 12 to 5 something they have done so what happened is all those things will get cheaper now okay because usually you buy a iphone one lakh something rupees is the iphone now so that plus tax you have to pay you are paying 18 percent means now you will pay only 12 percent so obviously that much reduction will come okay so savings will come so like that slowly slowly hopefully many things will normalize some of the brackets will be gone so that discussion is happening in this article okay July uh, so July 1, uh, 2017, in an open parliament, uh, sorry, midnight parliament uh, session. Okay, this joint session happens. Parliament, everybody comes and sits together and they sometimes do it. Only three times or four times in the history of India, midnight sessions have been called. Okay, so I think for the independence and for Quit India Movement's uh, anniversary or some three things are there. Try to find out that in my test series. My students anyway will get that notes. So that... Uh, Midnight session happened to launch it. That much urgently they did it after the uh, demonetization also. You remember November, I think 2016, demonetization happened. And then July 2017, this is a back-to-back -back thing, disruptor of the economy. It's written here, uh, the red one, third line. Introduced soon after the demonetization shock, GST was viewed as another disruptor. Okay, as I told in the Indian economy, something you do, obviously it will be a disaster. Okay, many people will start crying, shouting, like full system collapsed. Okay, because many things here, there is no proper billing, there is no proper uh, logbook, nothing is there. Everything are dealt in cash the way they like. Okay, and later now when UPI everything came, slowly, slowly things are being settled. Okay, so now if you see that line also, a black bolded underlined thing. Now again, this annual turnover of 5 crore, this is something, something you have to do invoice and that clauses when it comes, people are accepting it. So they are telling it's gradually people have embraced the change. People have accepted GST is in our system. Like this, it just has to, this is the proper legal way to do it. People have started accepting that is what is being told because else you would have remember uh, one year back when something happened, most of the merchants came on the road and started protesting. Okay. So now people are accepting it. Okay. Then again, I told there are many problems. So that problems is what uh, they are trying to tell in here. Okay. The last few lines here, the one is GST meeting, GST council meets. Okay. Council means I think state has more weightage in that. So state center, everybody comes and they meet. So that meeting is not happening properly or frequently. So they're telling the state should, the GST council should meet more often. That is one condi one thing. Okay. Then there's GST compensation, meaning when suddenly when all the taxes were cut and made into a GST, the revenue which states used to get earlier may go down. So, center told a provision called GST compensation, meaning I told that luxury tax and all these things which you get from rich people that are all moving to compensation fund and you will start giving them for the next five years is what first it was promised 2017 to 2022 July. It was promised that you will keep getting extra compensation also other than the GST which you collect. Okay, so they were also happy. But now in between what happened? COVID came for two, three years. So now government decided, okay, you that time again disruption happened, income reduced. So we have extended from 2022 to, see, you can see March 2026. Okay, March 2026, it is now extended. The compensation which the people will get is extended. Okay, so that is the second thing. GST compensation, GST council meet. Then there is this problem of dispute resolution. Any problem happens, they did not still now set up any appellate tribunal, any proper dis uh, dispute resolution mechanism mechanism okay so that is one concern again they are telling and then uh, the exclusion of excluded items okay there are many items still now did not come under gst okay like electricity petroleum real estate these things did not come under gst this is another concern which they are telling okay and then again uh, the as i told the uh, brackets instead of having 0 5 12 18 28 and all they should again make like maybe 0 5 and 28 something like that you should make that is again suggestions which came through many commissions so these are the concerns okay um, uh, these concerns are there, but our GST rate, the collection of revenue by the government is going upwards only. Okay, after the post pandemic, our economy recovered also, even though the full global things are in shock, we have recovered. So 1.6 lakh crore we have collected this June. So it's overall running smooth only, but there are problems also. So this scheme is incomplete reform is what the author is telling. I have listed down all the problems also. Okay, so make sure that you have a list of all these things because in your main answer, when you have to write the uh, how the progress of the scheme is or what are the uh, concerns in the scheme this is this is what you have to write okay and like this many many articles will come every time i will discuss and explain it to you now antibiotics okay antibiotics you know it's like medicines okay it's a medicine not like medicine it is medicines so it is to like you have a bacterial infection you have viral infection you will be given some tablets 
and they tell you like regularly have it like next to three days morning night or something and if you break it it will not work you have to correctly have it for the three days or five days okay so this is antibiotics now antibiotic resistance is what that is what the discussion here meaning you have some people like when slight small temperature comes you immediately take that one uh, dolo or paracetamol tablet and you start having in daily daily you have it you don't want any risk that any disease will come you immediately have it even before having a disease so slowly slowly what will happen is your first time you have the medicine inside why bacteria is there this will go and kill it okay but this little remains will be there. Next time when it comes, it knows that this is the thing going to kill it. It will start fighting with it. Okay, you can see the pictures. It will start fighting with the antibiotic and slowly, slowly this will become stronger and this bug will become a super bug. Okay, this is our main question has come about super bug already. So, a uh, normal bacteria, after consistently seeing the same antibiotic again and again, it will grow or mutate like COVID is having, having a different, different variant, right? It will become stronger and stronger each time. So, it becomes stronger that antibiotics stops working on these things. That is when we tell there is antibiotic resistance by these uh, bacteria. Okay, and then no longer any medicines work on you and people started dying also. People started getting like no cure, many side effects, many problems started happening. Okay, so that's why you should never have unwantedly medicines without any proper prescription, proper dosage. You should not have. Okay, just by googling and all many people do for headache this medicine, for uh, uh, vomiting this medicine. You should not do that. Consult the doctor and do unless you know certain things or you are yourself a doctor. Okay, so now what happened is we have many medicines. India is one of the number one pharmaceutical uh, this thing also country also. Even in COVID time, we made our own vaccines, which is working perfectly also. Uh, other Chinese people failed in making the vaccine properly. USA's vaccine was very uh, costly. We were the only ones who made it, gave it to our people, gave it to the neighboring countries free of cost. So we are number one in kind of medicine uh, supply. Okay. So, but there are many medicines which are in the stages of trial. Okay. Like phase one trial, phase two trial, phase three trial. You know that medicines will be tested on animals, tested on like that. It will have different different stages so it takes a lot of time by the time it comes in market but meanwhile many people are dying many people are waiting for the medicine okay so that problem here what happened is they're telling it's not just a story it is an earnest plea for emergency use authorization for essential antibiotics that can make a profound difference between life and death okay meaning there are some medicines which is like there's no other alternative for that patients cannot be given something else so do quick approval or emergency approval like covid if you see covid vaccine we did not like do 10 years research or something we quickly in that six months eight months we gave all the approvals and we bought in market and people got it understanding so like that there are certain other diseases also other bacteria also not just covid 19 virus many things are there which you should do emergency approval this is the plea of the author okay so now a glimmer of hope they are telling what happened is in hyderabad an 80 year old 18 year old patient okay bravely fought not only his aggressive t-cell leukemia but also a formidable and resistant adversary meaning already he has t-cell leukemia a problem is there then a bacteria resistant that uh, pseudomonas aeruginosa okay that name it's not very important but that is a bacteria just remember that that is having the resistance also no medicines is working so he is like going down his uh, blood count is reducing everything is going down okay his lungs is not responding his face is uh, uh, becoming deteriorated many many problems and his life was like kind of over people have lost hope but when that time there is something which we do which is this uh, uh, compassionate kind of uh, treatment which you do meaning there is some medicine which is not fully tested but still anyway he is going to die so let's test it on him okay that kind of uh, thing sometimes do so th that time they had this antibiotic if you see cefeptem or zidbactam okay that first line so that one developed by indian researchers itself which was in phase three trials i think in international market if you have to launch it it is phase three trials is going on they thought why not use it see compassionate use protocol necessary approvals were quickly obtained and then the patient was given this given this drug what happened is miraculously signs of clinical improvement began to surface the patient's fever subsided the blood culture turned negative need for oxygen diminished and slowly and steadily his strength returned reigniting hope so he actually recovered Okay, so this happened in Hyderabad and that is why this news is being discussed. So this extraordinary case shows what? There is an urgent importance for emergency use approval for these kind of medicines also, not just COVID medicines for which there is like no hope, there is no other alternative. You have to quickly do and this is a reminder to make timely medicines uh, available. Okay. So again, uh, you, because it, it is depending like life and death matter, right? So that is what they are telling here. And each year millions of lives are lost due to inadequacy of these kind of uh, available uh, medicines okay and uh, drug resistance uh, 
as I told, once it happens like that, then no other antibiotics work. You see, everything is ineffective. That's what they're telling. So you should have a doctor's team or scientist team and all these people. They should not waste their time searching for antibiotics that time because anyway, nothing will work. Whatever you have invented now, seeing all these conditions, work on the approval. That is what they are discussing. That full passage is about that only. And the last line, the constant race against time, trying to stay one step ahead of the mutating bacteria. Meaning you have to always be ready. Meaning you know that bacteria will mutate. It will become the next variant. Like we had COVID, alpha, beta, delta. Uh, we had that thing, right? Omicron. So like that, we should be ready that we know it will mutate. So based on that, we should be having the solution also ready. Just you need to test it once on something and use it. That we should be ready. The race against time is a very important criteria in these kind of things. Okay. So this is showing India's what? India's scientific uh, strength also that we have such uh, medicines which we can give to the world also now. But it should be uh, and the speed should be increased. Okay. Because now it is proven also, it's working on that patient. It is uh, proven also. And India, as you told, uh, as I told, COVID related, we have done. And here, one Japanese company's one medicine example also in the last they have given that uh, cefidirosol, a licensed antibiotic in several countries, developed by Japanese company, has demonstrated excellent efficacy against drug resistant infections. Okay. So, but again, it is not available in our country. Okay. So, that is what, whatever is there, try to speed up the approval processes, testing processes put more resources, put more funding, research more and then try to make it available. It not only empowers doctors, but also instill a renewed sense of hope and confidence among patients and their families. Okay. So as a nation of scientific achievements, we have opportunity to show to the world that we are still the number one in these kind of things. This is what the author is suggesting. Now the Karnataka's blunder scheme, the I told two pages, one page fully they have given about this. Congress promised many freebies. Okay, freebie politics, whoever does, actually that will not sustain in the long run. By chance they implement it also. One month, two month, three month you will do. After that it will fail because you need crores of rupees. Okay, I think in Tamil Nadu and all there was a time when you are giving TVs, laptops, everything is given free. Okay, they are announcing this much kilo rice, this much kilo, everything free. Instead of repairing the uh, thing or instead of uh, system you are repairing or you are making people more, which we call Atman Arbar. Okay, make, give them some job, give them some revenue, permanent thing. Instead of that, you are telling, we will give monthly, monthly, we will give you something free. So they also become more and more lazy. They don't work for anything. They know that government will anyway, every five years, election time, they will come and give all the food. They will give all the electronics, they will give everything. Then people will never improve. Our country will remain in the developing phase itself. We will never become developed. Okay. So here again, this time what Congress have used that tactics only to come back in the South in power because South was fully gone, right? Congress. So they wanted to come in power. So there they announced free public transport for women, free 5 kilo, 5 kilo rice every month for everyone, 200 units of electricity free and everything is a disaster there now. Everything is now getting spoiled because they don't have the fund. They don't have the means to implement it. Okay. Around 840 crore just for giving that rice scheme they need. Another thousands of crore they need to implement that electricity thing. They are increased the unit price of electricity there in Karnataka now. They have in metros and these things and all overcrowding of women and many things are happening. Fights are going on that videos have surfaced in the internet. So problem is you should not announce freebie schemes. Okay. You have to implement whichever parties, not only Congress, whichever party you should not announce freebies because that is not how you can grow. Country, you may win election, but you will again do the same thing again and again. People will remain less empowered and it's going to be a disaster. So different schemes are there. This article is especially to the rice. If you see that 10 kg of free rice for every member of BPL household once a month. Okay. This was what is announced. But problem is already there are a lot of schemes. Okay. This Anna Yojana and all you would have heard a lot of this scheme is called Anna Bhagya Yojana. Okay. Bhagya scheme is the announced Karnataka's government's uh, Congress government decision. But it became a blunder also. Okay. Serious problem is here you are telling 5 kg something to 4.4 something crore people. But already there is a need for giving for 45 lakh Antyodhya Anna Yojana people, 3.5 crore priority household of the center, then 39 lakh priority household of the Karnataka state. Then already National Food Security Act is there where you are giving 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 3 rupee rice and wheat and millets and all. So this much is already government is pressurized to give all these things every month. On top of that, you are increasing or putting one more scheme into it. Where will the rice come from? Even if the rice exists, where will the money to buy that rice come from? Okay, because you are announcing free, right? People will get for free, but the government has to purchase, right? From the FCI go downs or from farmers, somewhere you have to purchase. So where will all this money come when you announce free? So till now, many states were depending on, many states do this, not only Karnataka, many states announce this extra scheme just to appease the people and to win votes. Okay. So now what happened is the source, I'll tell you the source, there is a scheme called last line, open market sales scheme domestic. Okay. OMSSD. There was a scheme. It's like a open market operations in economics. Also you study. Okay. Prelims questions are coming back to back about that. This year also it came open market operation. So it's like when there is surplus stock. Okay. 
we have fci go down food corporation of india statutory body under india uh, under the ministry of health i think we have uh, this thing uh, body in that uh, we have this uh, so it will be ministry of agriculture okay so we have that uh, body where uh, we collect all the stock and keep in the like go downs why we keep it for any emergency or for any like covid kind of time comes we need backup or uh, uh, again just as a storage okay so that you can distribute wherever is needed in climate uh, cyclone time or anything and they'll have a count they'll have like okay 100 tons 100 kilo something we will keep it that is there like by this april by this june they'll have that count but by chance if it got like 140 100 200 tons came so it's extra that surplus they'll keep it for open auction okay electronic uh, online auction so you can bid and you can buy it anybody can buy it private traders shopkeepers states also can buy it now the twist to what happened is bjp lost the elections so they played politics there that is one thing they immediately told states cannot buy states cannot buy from now from june or june 12th or june 13th or something states cannot use this method it is for only the traders and these things so karnataka now who was depending on that scheme from there will buy a lot of rice okay first thing they have to generate money for that and with that they will do the auction bidding and they will win it and then they will distribute it for free this is what they were taught center did a twist that you cannot do it you cannot use or buy or participate in the uh, auction itself so now how will you get it so they are stuck that scheme is not getting implemented now instead they are giving cash okay they are telling okay we will give you some 34 rupee 34 rupee per kg something like that month you are giving cash and you buy rice from wherever we are not able to provide you rice okay that is what happened now so the major source as i told karnataka was also one of the state which i think 30 percent of that online auction uh, rice uh, karnataka was buying karnataka was the biggest uh, uh, beneficiary of that uh, program which was there but now states cannot buy june 13 center discontinued the sale of grains through oms's to states to control inflation okay this politics is there but center has its own problems also okay there is a like rain problem was there heat waves was there uh, heavy rains are happening somewhere anyway the crops are getting destroyed or the uh, quantity which they usually keep in buffer stock that is reducing so anyway they cannot give that is also reasons they are listed here okay but the suddenness of this decision especially hit karnataka and now if there was effective communication properly center fci states had communicated this earlier itself they could have planned something earlier but now they have promised the freebies already without proper planning and then they have lost that opportunity to buy it now only the small and marginal buyers or traders can uh, buy this thing okay so they are giving cash as i told and then they thought okay instead of rice uh, this uh, millets right ragi and jowar that karnataka is the biggest producer also okay ragi hub it is there everybody eats ragi most of the people uh, eat ragi for breakfast and also ragi is already there why not we give that but problem is that also this much freebies to give that much quantity was not available okay for congress government to buy so that is what is the concern now they don't have that thing and center see the compulsions of center southwest monsoons problem heat wave problem and then uh, the uh, pool central pool which they had in fci that is the lowest in april 2023 okay meaning this time there's no much surplus also to do that auction that is what they're telling it's not like just they played politics that is also there so now only difference which happened is covid gone okay so covid gone means there was a scheme that uh, if you see here pradeen Prad sorry pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana was there where free rice and these things were given for everyone every month okay a around 80 crore people of the 120 crore population everybody was given free thing because of the covid situation now that is gone so that much rice diversion there is reduced so that is the only hope they have they are telling some factors that any any hope for them to uh, relaunch this uh, scheme okay and this has given a key message to the state never without having proper mechanism proper planning never announce freebies okay the sustainability of this annabagya was questionable as supply was only through that they were fully dependent on that thing but again there also they are telling suppose now center did not bring this this is available they can do auction but how much you will get there the highest quantity ever bidded or ever got is like 24.6 lakh ton okay which was in 2021 somebody uh, bid it and got it okay but as per karnataka scheme which they are doing now annually they need 27.5 meaning 1.5 lakh ton extra they need that from where they'll bring so even if it was available they could not satisfy the complete beneficiaries which they promised that they will give free rice mm -hmm. understanding that is what is given here higher than the state's allocation so the state must consider the macro picture to ascertain the practicality of their new schemes this is what is the message being given okay 
and center is now worried also center is worried that if every state start promising like this even everybody will start complaining it will become a big issue because people will start protesting people will start crying everyone will blame the center only ultimately okay that it is not available you are not giving rights to states states is not able to give to us so this kind of things now suppose everything was available now that also over this also over the cost from where it will come they are telling see 840 crore per month cost will be there to give this freebies which they promised every month 840 840 crore you are giving on freebies okay so they are also knowing that okay this free thing will come and people are becoming more and more lazy also okay so stop viewing food grains as an instrument of politics and begin to take an objective appraisal of programs such as that uh, garib kalyan yojana and so whatever schemes is there properly plan and don't announce freebies is the complete message being given here okay one last point ethanol blending ethanol blending in the same article they have mentioned one paragraph uh, see that uh, picture ethanol is generated from this surplus rice broken rice the wheat the maize molasses all these things which are uh, which agriculture things you can actually convert or crush and make ethanol and why we need ethanol ethanol blending is the new thing which nitin gadkari our minister is also telling mix with petrol so 10 percent okay ethanol e10 e20 like that now i think 20 you are doing meaning out of the 100 units of petrol 20 will be ethanol so your import of petroleum which we are dependent on this middle east countries and all or russia also now we will reduce okay so that is being told that even though all these things are getting stopped that uh, state bidding oms that scheme and all stopped the diversion of rice towards extra rice towards ethanol uh, blending scheme that is not stopped that is actually six times it has increased actually because india is very serious regarding that reducing our import price of petroleum so for ethanol blending whatever rice has to go that is going smooth Okay, there is no shortage there. But for simply giving freebies and states and all, that is not, that is actually center has cut. Understanding? That is the numbers given, statistics are there. If you want, 68,000 metric tons were sold uh, in the eight years of that OMS scheme. 50%, 30% something Karnataka bought in last five years. And center's discontinuation has created problem for them. Then several states like this has already done what Karnataka is also, do, also already doing. So these are all problems. But ethanol blending thing is going smooth. Understanding this is the uh, thing which they have given in the article. So tell in comment section if you need like this every day explaining the videos. I have no problem explaining but you have to support with a like and comment. Okay and free lectures are there but without watching my foundation don't watch the lectures. You will not understand anything. Even if you understand your exam will go and fail because you don't know how to give this exam. Okay, how to give this exam is more important than what to study for this exam. Studying is simple. It's NCRT, some basic books, some current affairs you study, content you will get. In the exam hall, you will not able to eliminate, you will not able to solve, you will not able to manage the time. Okay, you won't know it. I'm seriously telling there are many people who knows content very nicely and they may be good in mains. Okay, because you know many content. But to reach mains, you have to first clear prelims, right? To clear prelims, there is a method to study in an year. That method is taught to you in the 30 foundation video. Please come and ask in WhatsApp. It's completely free. So something is free and still you don't use it. It's a big loss for you. So please contact me in WhatsApp. I want you to guide you properly and I want you to study properly. Okay. So I'll end up, wind up this video. Thank you and have a nice day.